Hey YouTube, I've missed you guys while I've been at a conference and uh, now I'm just arrived back in Florida having been in New Orleans and uh, I'm ready to make some more videos which is uh, which is nice, I've kind of missed missed YouTube while I've been busy earning some money to uh, pay for all the coins that I've been buying. Anyway, first stop, New Orleans and uh, what a great place New Orleans is. and. Uh, the uh, Louisiana Museums Authority have uh, refurbished the, the old U.S. Mint, so the, the the hyphen O at the end of all of our beloved coins, and uh, it's a great place. And there are some artifacts still here, not a massive amount to see. the uh, The building of the museum, uh, which is obviously a protected historical building. Um, houses a number of artifacts from um, from the kind of mints, some of which I suspect may may have belonged in other places apart from New Orleans. But um, you know, great sorting machines and weighing machines, and you know, all the paraphernalia of um, of minting in in this kind of historical time period. Some great machines, and even though there's not a lot to see. Um, it's still a worthwhile place to visit if you're in New Orleans, which is a great city. The, uh, the Mint building itself is actually divided into um, being dedicated to music and jazz and uh, the New Orleans greats like uh, Louis Armstrong. Uh, and I'll make another video of some of the paraphernalia that's in the music side of it. But, you know, you do have a few interesting bits like the, uh, the coin press. Uh, wonderful, wonderful old coin press. You can just imagine this thing being in action and whirring and churning out all these amazing coins that we've all grown up to uh, to love and cherish. Um, there aren't a huge number of coins on show at the museum, but um, you know there is a collection of sorts. Um, it's not very well lit. Um, I think they need really need to improve their presentation. Um, I've shown you some of the coins in this video that they have available on display, um, but actually it, the story is not impressively told, uh, the lighting is not that great. Um, you know, I don't know how these coins um, relate in terms of completeness, but there are a variety of bits of gold, sets of coins, some early coins, from uh, from the New Orleans Mint, um, you know, and uh, it's it, it's nice to see those. Although I suspect that most people wouldn't go to this museum just to see these coins. They don't really make part of the show. It's not a coin show. You just get the ambiance of being in the same room as they minted all the coins, uh, you know, and so you get the feeling of what it was like in that time in that building in that place. So uh, as, you, as you can see here there are a few coins, there's quite a bit of history, there's quite a few documents. You get the feeling of what it was like during that period um, to, to be around that area and it's got such an interesting history. Um, it, it's interesting wandering around New Orleans. You get um, to see a lot of the old Spanish street names and I, I hadn't really had any big idea that New Orleans was actually once a Spanish province before the French took it over. But nevertheless, I thought I'd give you guys a glimpse of the stuff that's in the New Orleans Mint. Hope you like it and uh, look forward to showing you some other unboxings um, over the next few days.